Hello everyone, my name is Nerdy. This is the next big Twitch game. I know I keep saying it's the next big Twitch game, but what I actually mean to say is the next big game that could potentially be uh, streamed or played or <clears throat> kind of go big, right? So we have, right, we've got Rust at the moment going through the motions. Among Us has been out a few years. So I think it's time we brought back a worthy candidate and I can't think of anything more worthy than the forest to be honest it is a fun little game it plays well it has good graphics it's got a good story to it you can play it with multiplayer so I just thought I'd, I'd give you a little rundown of a couple of things that I've done give you a couple of ideas on what you could do as you can see, I've got someone building over there. We will go and see that in a second. So this is the Peninsular Outcrop. The yacht is just down there, I believe. Uh, and Geese Lake is just over there, if I've got all my geography correct. Bear in mind, it has been a, a little while since I've been back on here. Now, what I decided to build was a wall. A massive wall straight across so that the cannibals cannot get to me. They do sometimes mill around the other side of the wall, especially when I'm down here. Uh, I've got a supply of trees just over there which I can use and I thought you know what this actually seems like a nice area to build a base you could kind of if you had enough friends helping you could very easily do a hilltop style here build a lot of houses build a lot of stuff have some fun do your main missions but Mostly, I find with stuff like the forest, it is about the building, and it's, it is still quite fun to do this and to add things while still having that danger of the cannibals and still having the, the main storyline. So this is just one idea. I will show you the next idea. So the previous one we showed you does have a little bit of a Walking Dead feel to it. You could also kind of build an Alexandria if you are into the Walking Dead in that way. Build your trade routes, get friends on, say you build there, you build here, and get trade routes going. This could be quite fun. Or you can go a little bit more open, I suppose. This was a riskier playthrough I decided to do. I built some effigies. If you set them on fire, like I'm about to, they will stay. Uh, the cannibals will stay away. This was also one that I set on fire, and I'm not sure if I was meant to. Because I, I can't remember. To be honest. Um, now this, this is risky for a couple of reasons. Um, obviously it's very open. I have my drugs cabinet here. It's very open. It attracts a lot of cannibals. Especially at night. But you do have your, your shack. Which is quite nice. To, to hide away in. But if I can find one, which I probably won't be able to now, now that I've said it, I will run along for a little bit, see if I can. There is, of course, some rabbits, um, some other animals, of course. Which, which is good because uh, you do need some a good supply of animals wherever you go you need a good supply of animals <clears throat> I'm going to take the hair because I'm actually going to make a trophy of it there we go you can you can make your shack look like a true hunter's shack uh, so the other thing that usually spawns in around here usually quite a bit um, but because I'm making a video on it, they decided not to. Is oh, there he is. Is the crocodile stroke alligator? I'm not. Cro damn you, you little boy. Oh damn you! I don't actually know what I've got in my inventory at the moment, so I'm just going oh, to. They can be quite tricky to beat. I've kind of got lucky with that. Oh shit, he's not dead oh shit shit you 
yeah, they, they do hit hard when they hit. But this will obviously give you alligator hide, which, I, uh, what, lizard skin, as they call it. And then once again, you can take this back into your shack. And let's make another one. There we go. So you can make the shack into a bit of a hunter's shack. Um, so yeah, this is this is kind of it's a bit riskier. It's a bit more open. There are a lot of animals around, which on the outcrop you don't get too many animals apart from birds. So you could add some rabbit traps. I, like I said, I've caught a lot here, as you can see. See how much is just drying on my racks here. So if you want a little bit of a riskier go. I would recommend this but this is my favorite so this one I have is it's my favorite to be honest uh, I did a lot of work with this I've got the katana I've got the modern axe um, built a lot of stuff I've got toys or compass cassettes walk yeah I've got a lot flares I don't actually have a dynamite which is oh yep yeah, there it is a little dynamite I, I have quite a bit of stuff on this one. Uh, I, I've spent a lot of time. I've been alive on it for 22 days. And it's I enjoy it. I, I enjoy making on this one. Now, the first thing you'll notice is there is a cannibal village right beside of me. However, what I've done, and let's make sure I got the right door, is I've built on the lake. This is Geese Lake. So I've built a nice little, it's not quite finished, i built a nice little shack on top. I also played this, this is the PC version, I also played this on PS4 version, and in the exact same place, if I can get outside, I built a shack here. So yeah, so on the PS4 version, I built my shack there, I built another platform here, it had on it rabbit cages, uh, and things like that it had the plant pots basically all the stuff you could make to to house animals over there I have built a the same as on here I've built a campfire and a water dispense a water um, collector just in case you know I'm out foraging and I want to get back and I want a quick drink something to eat I've got it ready there I will probably do, I think I had originally planned to make this into a little kind of thing um, that would be connected to both the main house and the platform that I'm going to build. I also, on the PS4 version, I wish I was recording off of that version just to show you, but also on that one out here I have built a ton of rabbit traps all around the field. I built a stand that I could get up with a rope system to go straight through to my platform that way then if I was out here gathering collecting I could get back home quick the cannibals attacked it just made sense I, I I must admit I had a bit of everything and and I loved it and I I'm not sure why I stopped playing it I think I just stopped playing it because other games come out that is literally it and I think that is why it's possibly one of the deserving games for a comeback so I'm gonna play a little bit show you some of the things you can do I mainly I just want to bump into a cannibal to show you cannibals for anyone who's never seen the game or played the game before this is a cannibal village there's a lot of dead bodies there's a lot of things here you can split open like the suitcases these are all from the plane Ooh, some batteries I'm no doubt going to keep playing this through. Yes, I'd, I'd quite like to get another seven people in so that we can, we could build. It's, it's actually really hard on here. To, um, well, no, it's, the thing is it's not, it's, it's quite easy. This was all built solo. It's easy to survive, but if you've got a group 
all kind of going for the same thing going, going the same route it's so much easier it's so much quicker the only thing you have to remember about building the base if you want to do it this route and build a base on here the only thing you need to remember is you need to make that gangway long enough that they won't jump onto it nine times out of ten if they jump onto it this distance at that distance that i've got there they will jump back off sometimes they will go underneath and actually drown themselves it's very strange um, but that could be an old glitch and um you've got to remember you've got to be able to jump yourself cannibal oh, there's a couple actually i might go after them. oh no 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 look how many there are they're, they're actually starting Where are they? They've obviously decided to go off and find something else. To amuse themselves. I've noticed they have. Whoa, there's one. There's one. Hello, man. Do you want to be my friend? Just be careful because they do this. They lead you into a trap. They're not a dumb. Yeah, I can I can sense myself being led to a trap. So if you want, let them come to you. But non-stop attack. When you do attack, non-stop. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. Um. Yeah, try the non-stop attack, especially if you've got a spear, because the amount of hits you will have with a spear will actually stop them being able to attack you if you can time it right. I missed. Damn it. Try not to miss. Oh, I managed to get his body on there. Try not to miss because you will inevitably drop whatever you've got in your hands. So if it's logs, that's a pain in the backside. Um, obviously you should be using your log boat but sometimes it's just easier if you know you need a couple of logs just run them across um, oh shite um, can I not yeah there you go drop him on the fire drop him like it's hot get some bones it does have the crafting system Nice and simple, just chuck it on the middle. If you're not sure what things do, the little gear there will show you exactly what you can do. So you can, if you add a stick to this, you'll get the upgrade spear. If you add two more cloth and so many more bone, four more bone, you will get some more bone armor, which I'm actually going to a little bit of bone armor you'll now see it it looks lovely on you um, and then just just make sure you pick up the bones this is this is not the best place to put something just simply because it's indoors you it's cramped I said I've, I've tried to make this practical for now I just wanted it to, I just wanted someone to just be able to escape and just have a little place that I'd be able to build. This is the forest. I think it's due a comeback. I think it's time. And if you enjoyed this small amount of gameplay, I will be doing more. So there will be more videos of the forest. I will probably, I will possibly start again, find Geese Lake, do all of these bits. But if you do want to see me just playing, continuing with this save, I'm also quite happy to do that. I can carry on building. So let me know down in the comments. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell if you want more notifications. And I'll see you next time. Thank you all.